I thought this was really interesting. You have kind of been dreaming of this charity like since you were really young, right? How did you guys decide together to create this? How did you take it from a dream to reality? Um, the Children Are Magical Foundation is actually a branch of his foundation, the With Arms Wide Open Foundation. And it's something I started um, 15 years ago. Um, it's, it's inspired from my mom, who was a widow and raised five kids and just the, taught us the importance of education. And if we didn't have the education and the resources and people helping us, I don't think we would have you know, gotten to where we were today. So it's inspired by my mother. And um, here we are, take 15 years later with our second annual back to school bash helping kids and just giving back and it's a huge turnout I mean this is amazing congratulations thank you so much we were, I was so nervous I was like I hope people show up yeah it's, and, uh, it, it's grown. really grown from last year I mean it's double the size it was last year and I and you know the goal as Jacqueline said in an earlier interview is to eventually hold this event at the Bridgestone Arena because we want to help as many children and underprivileged families in need as possible throughout the entire greater Nashville area in Middle Tennessee. So as many people as we can help every year to get a head start in life and a head start at school, teaching them life skills, you know, introducing them to dental checks, medical exams, haircuts, backpacks, school supplies, organization, you know, being prepared for things in life. That's an essential life skill. And so there's a lot more going on uh, aside just, you know, uh, the actual backpacks and, and other services. You know, we're trying to, to start a, start something and hopefully it continues to grow uh, and we can see and follow these kids and get to know them on a more personal level uh, and, and see how it transpires over the next 18 years of their life. It's amazing. I didn't realize you guys have kind of like known each other for a really long time, long but time. how did you get involved? When did he call you up and how did you guys... Um, well, we actually, um, you know, we run into each other, different charity events, and uh, la I think it was in uh, St. Augustine when we really sat down and we're talking, and they're like, hey, we're moving to Nashville, and we're like, we're moving to Nashville. We all came here at the same time. We've got kids that are, you know, really close in age, and, uh, you know, we just always kept the friendship, and when Jacqueline had this idea and was, was talking about it, my wife and her are really close, and she's like, anything I can do to help, too? I mean, this girl is a workhorse. She's she yeah, put this all. This is so yeah. unbelievable. When I heard about it, I thought it was going to be some little thing that I would come to. Man, this turnout! Now it's raining, which kind of stinks, but you know the turnout's unbelievable. The kids don't look like they're upset about the rain, yeah, so it's they're, fine. They're, they're it's still fine. everybody's still having a great time. I mean, where where can you go and see Scott play? You know, yeah. in, in in a gym and, and not play Justin this song. Timberlake introduce him. Not Justin Timberlake introduce him. That, that's actually yeah. on my uh, bio. Not Justin Timberlake. <laughs> the that's the first thing. Yeah. So first of all, I know you're expecting Justin Timberlake, but got me. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm ready. Well, I don't know if I'm ready. We're standing out, we create. 